Hello YouTube, Nathan here from the photography team. I just wanted to do a video um, on tethering with the X-T2 um, using Lightroom. Now, Fuji have just released a app called Fujifilm X Acquire, which um, allows you to connect the Fuji X-T2 and also other cameras um, via a cable to a computer system and then you can obviously um, do tethered shoots. So, to start off with, the first thing we need to do is we need to take our Fuji X-T2, go into the menu system, go across to the little wrench icon, down to connection settings, and then we need to change PC shoot mode from off to USB auto. Okay, once we've done that, we'll jump on across to the computer and we'll download the actual app. So um, we go to the Fujifilm website. Um, I'll put a link to the direct download um, in the comments or the description box below. Uh, but basically this says that this is available for the Fujifilm GFX 50S, if you're one of those lucky people to own that camera. Fuji X-T2 and a Fuji X-T1, however they, they do need to be on the current uh, or one of the latest firmware versions. So, um, pretty self-explanatory, so once you've downloaded the app and installed that to your computer, this is what you now do. Okay, so we've downloaded the app, and in the top, on the top uh, bar here, you'll see a X sign, which is the Fujifilm X Acquire um, icon. So if you open that, it gives us a couple of um, options. Now, specify destination folder. So if I click that, okay, so when we've opened that, I've got a folder here called um, Tethered Shoot. Now that's, um, I've created that folder already. Now that's gonna tell the camera and the computer system where to store the images when uh, the camera is obviously connected by a tether. So if we select tether shoot and we will select that as our folder again we can go to show window which is it when the camera is connected it will give you the actual settings that are stored on the camera. Now we go to preferences. Now this is um, you can specify the file formats that will be transferred to the PC um, and also the file formats that will be copied to the memory card. So you can have it that it copies files to both PC and memory card, which I would obviously recommend, or you can select it so that images are just transferred to either the PC or the memory card. Um, and you can select JPEG or RAW. Um, in relation to the PC, I've found that um, although it says JPEG and RAW, it will only copy JPEG and RAW files to the PC if you have that function also set within the camera. So you need to make sure that the camera is set to save a RAW image and a JPEG image. Then it will transfer both those files to the computer. So that's the main settings that we really need to think worry about at the moment within the X Acquire app. Now let's open Lightroom. Now, I found that you can't actually set a tethered capture. Um, with Canon, you were able to connect the camera directly to the to Lightroom and it would, um, you'd be able to select a tethered capture. You can't actually do that with this app, but this is the workaround. So if you go um, if you see the auto import, so we'll, we'll enable auto import. And then just below that, we've got auto import settings. So if we click auto import settings, you can, you can select a watched folder. Um, now, if I was to choose the folder that I've just created, so we'll go down to pictures, tethered shoot. So now what Lightroom is going to do is it's going to monitor that folder and when an image goes into that folder it will automatically drag that into Lightroom. 
Now we also need to create another folder within Lightroom. This is the destination folder. Um, at the moment, I've just got it set as auto imported photos. So what that will do is it, once the images have been transferred into Lightroom, it will create another subfolder within the original tethered shoot folder. All will become clear, don't you worry. Um, so if we set that okay, now let's connect the camera to the computer. So this is a standard, uh, just a standard USB cable. Um, now obviously with the Fuji X-T2, you've got a USB 3 port, but I don't actually have a USB 3 cable at the moment, so this is just a standard cable which will still fit. Okay, we'll turn the camera on. Okay, so now that we've got the camera connected to the computer, that's all you need to do. You don't have to change any other settings. Um, you don't need to do any anything else with Lightroom. It's now going to start tethering. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to set this camera first off so that it does actually save both a raw image and a normal JPEG. Now I'm going to take a, an image. Okay, so I've taken an image and then we'll wait with Lightroom. And what that's done is already added an auto imported photos um, folder. And there's the image that I've taken. Now this is the RAF file. Um, because it will we only want it really to import the, the raw image into Lightroom. So let's just do another one. And then another one. So that's three images. It's quite quick considering they're large files. Um, obviously we can go straight into the develop mat module from here. Now from there we can uh, obviously edit the pictures. So even though we're in the develop module, let's take another image. <clears throat> and again, that's brought that straight up there. So. Very good, good layout, it's quite quick. And what really impressed me was um, when I used to use Canon, when the camera went to sleep, I would lose the connection, lose that tethered connection. So I was unable to, um, or I'd find that I would take another image and it wouldn't come through and then I'd have to reset the tethered connection. So with this, we'll turn the camera off. Okay, so the camera's now off. We'll turn it back on again. Now, without doing anything else, let's take another image. So there we go, take another image. And there it is, it's straight, straight into Lightroom. This, I mean, this is, this is great. This is, uh, this is ideal for those event photographers and um, Obviously, product photographers who need to be tethered to a computer so that the client or the customer can see what's what's been taken. Um, this is ideal, and it's free. So um, that's how we tether the Fuji XT2 to Lightroom. And just to show you what images are saved, also, if we now go into the to the folder that I created, uh, tethered shoot auto imported photos so that's what that's the subfolder that Lightroom created if we open that up you'll see that we've got our RAF files great picture <laughs> and we also have our JPEGs so that's stored them locally on the computer as well they'll also be stored on the card so yeah I'm really happy with this um, it's working, uh, working great, uh, and I look forward to using this at our next uh, event shoot where we tether into the computer so that the clients can see what images have been taken. I hope that's helped you um, to get your grips around that uh, Fuji X Acquire. So please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. My name's Nathan and I'm from the photography team. 
And for those that are wondering, this was filmed on a Fuji X-T2 with the XF 10 to 24 millimeter lens.